today I've got another spring look for you. Uh, despite the fact that I'm wearing a black shirt which doesn't look very spring like. But oh well. Anyways, it's a pastel pink and pastel blue look. Um, I don't do pastel colors very often on my eyes. So I did use a bright lip shade just to sort of, you know, yeah, make it more me. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So as usual, I started out with uh, Creme de Rose by Maybelline. Which, as you can see, is uh, very well loved. <laughs> and I've hit the pen on it. But yeah, anyways, I applied it on um, yeah, my entire eyelid, all the way up to the eyebrow. And then all the eyeshadow colors I used today are from the uh, 120 Color Palette by BH Cosmetics. And I started out with this sort of cool toned pastel pink, as you can see here. It's a very nice shade, um, although on the eyelid it does need to be built up a little bit. But yeah, pretty much just build it up all the way up to the crease. Like not in the crease, but just really, as you can see, like the top corner. Yeah. And then I did the inner corner with a sort of slightly shimmery white color. And a smaller brush. And I really put a shade all around the tear duct to really highlight. And then it was already time to go to the crease. It's really very quick and easy eye look actually. Um, I just used this sort of soft blue tone. On an angled brush. And pretty much just put it in the crease. It's usually I'm sort of a person who really likes to define the crease with black preferably. But I really just wanted to go for a soft springtime look today. And yeah I just immediately sort of started blending it. I will blend it some more later with an actual blending brush, but for now this is good enough. And then I used a slightly darker blue with a sort of eyeliner brush type. I should really look up the names of these. And I pretty much made a V in the outer corner of the crease. And then just sort of blended it inwards. And as you can see it just gives a more defined look than, you know, if you wouldn't do that, so yeah. And then the real trick is to get it even with the other eye. But the good thing about eyeshadow, if you do make a mistake, it's very easy to fix it. Because, you know, it won't stain like uh, eyeliners will. And then to blend the crease some more, I use the blending brush and this pale blue shade. As you can see on the brush, it's almost white. And just use it to blend the top part of the crease. And then for the eyebrow highlight I use the uh, shimmery white shade again but with a different brush. This brush is pretty much the same shape as the arch of my eyebrow so yeah. That's why I prefer to use this one for that. And that was already the last eyeshadow step. Now it's time for eyeliner. I use the Essence Liquid Ink. Which is pretty much the eyeliner I always use when I just really want to do a quick and easy uh, look. As far as eyeliner is concerned. Because I don't know. To me this sort of brush is really easy to work with. Like I can do, do a big wing with it. Or just as I'm doing now sort of more of a subtle look. And it really just also depends on what sort of look I'm trying to go for. Like today I wanted sort of like. Well I didn't want the eyeliner to be very obvious. Like I didn't want to do a big wing. Just really, really did a really tiny small wing at the end. Um, but I did want it to be like defined. Um, if I want a more smoky look I'll just usually go for a gel liner or a pencil liner. Or a cake eyeliner. But for now I just chose this. And I really wanted to keep the bottom of the eye pale. So I used a Blanc which is a pencil by Peggy Sage. On the waterline. Um, unlike some other white pencils, this isn't really a highlighting pencil, it's just plain white, like really, really white as you can see. And then for mascara, as I did for the last few weeks, I used the Scandalized Lycraflex mascara by Rimmel. Which still isn't empty and still isn't dried out fully, so I can still use it. So I pretty much just use a whole lot on the bottom eyelashes and then also some on the bottom eyelashes. Do be careful at the bottom if you're using this mascara as well because the wand is really really big. 
And yeah, then it was time for the lips. I used a pencil first, a uh, cute pink, my essence, which is sort of a dusty pinkish shade. And yeah, I pretty much like to use this pencil when I'm doing a pale pinkish lip color. Even if it is not the same color as the lip product I'm going to use after it, just because if the lip product fades, then this will still be visible and at least, you know, this looks natural. And then I used Oh My Gloss by Rimmel in the shade Oolala, which looks red in the packaging, but is actually pink on my lips. Whenever I do sort of a pastel-ish nude eye look, well not nude eye look, uh, matte eye look, as I was trying to say, I just like to do very shimmery lips. I also have a feeling when I do nude lips with a look like this, then, I don't know, it just looks too bland on me, I think. And then I just put on some more blush. This is uh, Essence Silky Touch in Life's Cherry. Because I felt with the, like with the really pink lip shade, I really just wanted my cheeks to stand out a little bit more. This one is very pigmented, so I did spend a lot of time blending it. And then I decided to just quickly show you how I did my bangs. Like this is pretty much how I do my bangs every day now. Um, I'm using the uh, El Net hairspray. I have no idea what it's called in English, but um, yeah, it's the strongest version they have, like with the black label on it. And then just teased it and pretty much made sort of a yeah standing up bang thing of it. And the perfume I use today is Moment de Bonheur by Yves Rocher, which I still can't pronounce properly. But either way, it smells like roses. And yeah. This is the finished makeup look. And yeah, that's the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye! With the uh, fixing spray and then use that to pat on the glitter. As you can see, it's really, really pigmented. And yeah, still I did apply like two layers of it because 